The Supreme Court has struck down a Trump-era ban on gun accessories. We know them as bump stocks. It was enacted in the wake of the 2017 Las Vegas mass shooting. The court's conservative majority found that a bump stock, which allows a shooter to quickly fire a semi-automatic rifle, does not convert the firearm into a machine gun. Natalie Brand reports from the Supreme Court. The U.S. Supreme Court put guns back in the political spotlight Friday, striking down a ban on bump stocks. The Trump administration put the rule in place after America's deadliest modern mass shooting. In 2017, a gunman fired more than 1,000 rounds into the crowd at a Las Vegas concert in 11 minutes. The high court's 6-3 opinion focused on the mechanics of the gun accessory. This is whether or not the ATF, an executive agency, could say, Semi-automatic weapons plus bump stock equals machine gun, and machine guns are banned under federal law. Justice Thomas, writing for the majority, said a bump stock does not convert a semi-automatic rifle into a machine gun any more than a shooter with a lightning-fast trigger finger does. Justice Sotomayor, in the dissent, sharply disagreed, stressing a rifle equipped with a bump stock can fire at a rate of 400 to 800 rounds per minute. Writing, when I see a bird that walks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, I call that bird a duck. Conservative justices also took issue with the ATF writing the rule instead of lawmakers, saying it's up to Congress to amend the law regarding bump stocks. But lawmakers we spoke to on both sides of the aisle don't expect any movement on the issue. Not particularly optimistic. I think it's probably going to be left where it is. The Supreme Court must still rule on another big gun case, deciding whether or not to uphold federal law that prohibits people under domestic violence restraining orders from owning firearms. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the Supreme Court.